Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to make a simple yarn wrapped pebble. The idea of these minimalist pebbles is to be decorative but also to have a calming effect. They're also very relaxing to actually make. In order to follow along you're going to need some yarn, a pebble, a yarn needle and some masking tape. The more symmetrical and flatter the pebble the better and it also helps if the sides are relatively straight. The pebble that I'm using is approximately 9cm long. And with regards to the yarn, I used a DK weight white cotton yarn. Anything will do, but I think medium weight is best, or you could use string or a leather cord. Try and choose colours that contrast with the pebble colour. Right, so to begin, you need to take the end of your yarn and leave at least 5 inches or so hanging off the top end of the pebble with the back of the pebble facing you. Use either your hand to hold the yarn in place or a piece of masking tape and make a bend in the yarn about three quarters of the way down the pebble. At this point, wrap the yarn around the side to the front, turn the pebble over so the front is facing you and then cross it diagonally like so. Take it under the pebble and take it straight across making sure to trap the yarn tail underneath, then cross it diagonally over the front again. If you look at the front of the pebble now, there will be a cross shape. You want this cross to be a little bit closer to the end of the pebble that you're starting from. Note that on the left and on the right is a V-shape of yarn. Then take the yarn under the pebble again, going straight across. Take your yarn to the front of the pebble and then you want to go inside the first V and outside the second V, like so. Then take it straight across under the pebble and then diagonally across the front again. This time the yarn needs to be outside the first V and then inside the second V. You then take the yarn straight across under the pebble again and then just repeat these steps. So take the yarn diagonally over the front, going inside to the first V and outside the second V. Then take the yarn under the pebble and then across the front again, this time going outside the first V and inside the second V. Make sure to keep tension in the yarn whenever you're wrapping it so that the strands are taut and not loose. Keep going until the stone is wrapped exactly how you want it. Make sure you finish wrapping the yarn at the top of the pebble where the yarn tail is. Cut your yarn from the ball of yarn, leaving at least 15 inches or so. Feed this yarn end into your yarn needle. Take this long yarn tail behind the short yarn tail that's leaving the top of the pebble. Then feed it under all of the yarn strands in the upper band and under all of the yarn strands in the lower band, including the lowest strand on the left. You'll see that I accidentally tied a knot, so here I'm just sorting that out. Then go back over this lower strand, but under the rest of the strands above, moving upwards. Then just take a second to make sure all of the yarn strands are nice and neat. Then feed your needle up and under the lower band of yarn strands once more, including the lower strand. Then up and under all of the strands in the upper band of yarn as well. Then go up and under the upper band again. And finally, tie the two yarn tails together in a double knot.
Use your yarn needle to feed both yarn tails behind the upper band to hide them. Then cut off the excess yarn. And that's it, that's the wrapped pebble completed. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.